what's going on people it's low heat and in this video i'm gonna be showing you how i chopped this really cool road sample from a library record that i found on youtube on the mpc1 and i'm gonna be going through the whole process of creating the beat which turned out like this by the way And if you're into Ableton Live machine tutorials, beat making videos, and if you dig the music that you're hearing on the channel, make sure you're subscribed with notifications so you don't miss the new videos that I upload weekly, sometimes even twice a week. Now right on to the video. So I have the iPad connected to the SP404 and the SP404 to the MPC, so I can sample through the effects of the 404 and I used the vinyl seam to add some crackle, lowered down the crackle a bit because it was too loud. Then I pressed record on the MPC and play on the iPad. So that's the sample that I recorded with the vinyl crackle now. I renamed it and pressed the edit button to set up the starting point and then I went to trim and entered the chopping section where I manually sliced it by pressing the consecutive pads. We want every slice to start right at the note that's playing in the sample. So then I pressed shift and convert to convert it to a new drum program. Then I went back to the main screen, selected the drum program on track one and now I can play the sample. Then I went to track two loaded up a drum kit from the built-in kits on the MPC-1, turned off the timing correct before recording the drum pattern, I had more hi-hats on the second pass, And then I decided to quantize it when to timing correct, set the amount to, or the strength to 50%, 54% swing, just 50% though, that's really important to retain the groove and add some swing as well. So then I could play the sample on top of the drum pattern. Pitch it up five semitones. So then I went to the track mix and I added the air lo-fi effect, lowered down the sample rate to add some griminess to the sample. So this is the phrase that I recorded. When I recorded the bass line, I found the key of the sample and it was in F minor. A really simple bass line, but works nice. Search for some other instruments, load up this one to record the melody on top. And I 
again this is the built-in instrument from the F9 expansion that comes with the MPC. Time for the muted guitars then, again from the F9 expansion. a nice riff with the music guitar again adding more reverb and finally this popcorn lead just a simple rhythmic pattern Sounds nice. So then I went to track mute to try muting and unmuting different parts to do a little test arrangement and did some effects with the XY effects. So thank you so much for watching this video guys, drop a comment if you enjoyed it and I hope to see you in the next one.